Riding with the Rabbi. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Riding with the Rabbi. I am so excited about our guest today. I have the one, the only, the legend Miriam Peretz here in the car. And in the back, we have Miriam Sanala Matan. Matan, how are you? Miriam, welcome, welcome. And we're so excited. We're on our way to Shabbat in Livingston. Together, we're partnering with Mizrahi and the Israel 360 program. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you? Thank you. Thank you for this invitation. I'm so excited to be in Livingston with your beautiful community to meet my brothers, my sister, my nation. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. So, I just have a couple of questions. So, I guess a lot of people already know your story. Yet, you spend most of your life telling your story. And, 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 and how do you find the strength? I know you go every day to, to army bays, to schools. How do you find your strength to, to take you know, your experience and inspire other people? Where does that come from? I must tell you that everyone born with power Everyone, there is no one that have not power to uh, get up from the moment of crisis that he get. What help us? One is the way that we choose. I don't, I didn't choose the death of my sons. I didn't choose the death of my husband, but I choose the way how I coped with that, how I continue. And what helped me? Every day, I wake up. I can choose to... So, I, folks, we, we had a little bit of a technical difficulty and also the rain outside in the car, mm -hmm. so we got interrupted. So yes. we just, we're actually announced what's Motsai Shabbat. We had the most uplifting, inspiring Shabbat with Miriam. And I wanted to just take a few minutes to continue our conversation. And we were saying, I asked you, how do you have the strength to do what you were doing? And the last thing you were saying is that when you wake up in the morning, you have the a choice. First thing, yes, I have choice. I didn't uh, bring to me these tragedies. This is trial that Hashem try me. But I have a, cho a choice to continue to sleep on my bed, to blame the government, to blame someone, or to wake up and to thank Hashem for what I have now. And by Ruch Hashem, I'm a very rich man, a woman. It's not rich with money. It's rich with, I have another children. I wake up, I can see, I can stand on my leg. I can drink coffee. It's a miracle. I found the next side of Hashem. Not only the hand that take my husband and my children. It's the hand of comfort. It's the hand of miracles that Hashem do to me every day. I love what you said earlier today. You said it's a dance, the tango, I dance, right? I dance with Hashem tango. Sometimes, yes, I feel that Hashem threw me. Sometimes I threw him, I. But every time I put my head on the shoulders of Hashem and I ask him, please don't let me to be alone. You must be with me. And it's a big journey to love Hashem, to be near Hashem. And you know, we have a sentence, En hashchina shora, ela b'makom shel simcha. If you want to feel Hashem, you must continue to be happy. And the happiness for me is this, to see what I have now, today. I am here in your beautiful house, beautiful community. I feel that I have another family and I'm so happy for this Shabbat, for this moment, for your beautiful family, for beautiful community. I 
Okay? How I can thank Sasha for that? You know, maybe I will come to a community that no one speak with me. And here I feel in my home. Thank you very much for that. Yes, and you reinforce two things that I always teach. One of them is, and we spoke about this uh, before Shabbat, is that you're not defined by what happens to you. Yes. You're defined by what you do with what happens to you. I can't deal with the question. I can I can ask question about why. I can ask, why me? Why my children? I raise them in your mitzvot. I pray. But this question I will never get answer. I deal with, with the question for what I can do with this death and sorrow. I can change the world. I can be a good person. I can hug people. I can say a good words to someone. I can light my soul. Light this candle. I can do that. So and the, and the other thing I learned is that you said you you the what makes you happy, what gives you meaning is the ability to give. And we say the word in the word Vinatanu yes. is a palindrome. Yes. Backwards and forwards. And giving I told children today that when you give me a glass with water, I drink this water, it's finished. Giving, it's something else. You give and you are full from this giving. You, you feel that you do something, that even you think that you are on the ground and no way, you, uh, you can't wake up. When you give, you understood that you have mission in this world. You can continue to give. And I ask all the people to change their life and to make the life the life of giving, of chesed, of hug people, of a look a, around you. Maybe somebody needs your words. Maybe somebody needs your food. Maybe somebody, somebody needs some, uh, uh, some dollars to have Shabbat. You can be in situation. The big situation is to give to someone. Well, you gave us so much this Shabbat. You, you inspired us. I want to thank you so much for coming. Really, it was I, I looked forward to it so for so long, and I'm so glad that you came. And the last thing I don't usually do this of my guests, but um, I would like if you could please, please, if you could give me and my family and our kahila a bracha. Oh, if you could give us a bracha for oh, hatslacha, it would be mean so much to us. Oh, so I I will bless with a, a bracha Hebrew that we say. Yemale Akadosh Bauchu et Mish Alot Liphem Letova. May Haish Hashem will make all your wishes to be good. All your wishes. Wishes for your families, wishes for your community, wishes for Am Israel, for this land, also for America. Maybe Hashem will make all your wishes. Letova and give you healthy and uh, give you uh, give you maybe a strength to cope to, with every moment of crisis because we have this moment in our life many kinds of crisis so maybe Hashem will give us comfort and strength for that moment. Amen, amen. Thank, Thank you so you. much. We'll see you next time on Riding with the Rabbi or maybe half riding, half sitting with the Rabbi. But uh, friends, Miriam Peretz, what an unbelievable inspiration. Uh, we are so lucky and fortunate to have had her as our guest here for Shabbat. Thank and we'll see you here next time. Thank you. Thank you. Riding with the Rabbi.